Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. This video is going to be quite interesting to know because uh, in this video we are trying to find an answer for the most prominent term that we get to use in our life uh, being a piping design engineer. So I thought it is uh, good to share with you. Uh, this The term that I am talking about is not uh, too complex, it is about more uh, fundamental uh, term. Uh, we uh, use it in every day of life. So I thought it is better to know about the basis of uh, this term that we are using. So the question of the day is uh, going to be a little bit um, uh, surprising to you. It is not uh, going to be any uh, complex title. This is what it is. So the question of the day is what is process piping? Now you must be thinking uh, yeah, I know about this, but you should ask very clearly or you should ask yourself that Do you know what is process piping or if you know uh, What is the the basis of source? I mean from where did you uh, seen and where did you learned the definition of process piping? Tell me the document uh, or uh, do you know the which standard it exactly says? So this is what my question is. When I ask this with a few of my friends who are um, highly experienced, uh, nobody knows about it. So it was a surprise to me. So that's one of the reason I wanted to uh, share this with you. So now tell me what do you think of uh, process piping uh, or, uh, or, or tell me uh, according to you what is the definition of process piping or tell me where, where does it actually come from or any standard or any document name you can share or uh, a, a, any particular uh, international codes or standards or whichever document that you can say that this is what it says this is the page it says exactly uh, this is the uh, clause uh, that says what is known as uh, process piping because if you even you can uh, it will be quite interesting you can check with your friends who are highly experienced and i believe that most of us do not know about this or uh, you must ask yourself do you ever know what type of pipings are known as process piping see this is one of the the uh, another question that i used to ask with my friends that to list down the type of piping which uh, which is known to be the process piping or do you ever know that uh, what are the types of piping that comes under this category we are working in piping for years and years but most of us do not know about this simple thing that's because we do not know what is process piping is all about so that's one of the reason so i don't want to waste your time so i just want to tell you that uh, the term process piping comes from asme b31.3 you know why it is because asme b31.3 titles with process piping that's why uh, we came to know about this term so the if you look at the title of this asme b31.3 it is um, uh, it is a pi international code of piping uh, for process piping that's where the term comes from then you must be asking yourself that uh, then what is the earlier term for this the earlier term for this particular standard is chemical plant and petroleum refinery piping so in those days uh, this code was actually made only for this particular purpose but later on uh, it has got uh, diversified uh, but diversification should have some reason right so what is the uh, the basis of uh, diversification uh, there are history of reasons but one of the fundamental reason is uh, you know uh, to establish uh, a common standard for the industrial piping so that most piping could be covered in one standard so to tell you in a different way different industries can use one common standard that is the intent of it so that this particular standard could be applied for various applications and various industries is that mean all the industrial piping comes in this category is it true that when you talk about industrial piping does that mean that all the piping in the industries follows b13.3 only or is, do we have anything else so that is what i am going to show you see when you say process piping what is it about does any standard or any um, uh, codes or any international uh, standard uh, have a list of uh, uh, categories where this is what uh, process piping is about and uh, the uh, whatever um, uh, goes uh, out of this area is not process piping whatever within this area are known as process piping so that is what the intent of this video is about so the answer is no uh, answer is no in the sense all the pipings are not considered as a process piping all the i mean all the industrial pipings are not considered as process piping then what it is 
what is the difference actually it is exactly given in this clause uh, in asme b13.3 and the clause is 300.1.1 uh, so it is uh, if you go to a chapter and 300.1.1 uh, uh, clause it exactly says this this if you can uh, read through it uh, it will be quite interesting to know about this there are three points a b c this abc highlights uh, where you can apply asme b31.3 so asme b31.3 is for uh, process piping so these are the categories uh, these are the classification that it defines that you can apply it see the first uh, point a says this code prescribes requirements for materials and components design fabrication assembly erection examination inspection and testing of piping so it has listed out the requirements um, that are uh, um, what you call uh, conducted or uh, the piping has to go through during uh, right from the engineering to the construction so i uh, from a to z uh, requirements are covered in this um, standard that is what it lists actually so what is the point b the point b says that this code applies to piping for all fluids including this is what uh, we have to understand uh, here it lists out the certain fluids where uh, we can apply this code it's like um, starts from raw and intermediate and finished chemicals and uh, all petroleum products uh, gas steam air and water and fluidized solids refrigerants and cryogenic fluids so it doesn't say any particular industry or standard say so it says that uh, the fluids are listed if any industries where these fluids are uh, are used and uh, the industry wants to build a piping they can use this standard so this is what exactly defines it actually when you talk about process piping it is not that all industrial piping comes under this category the um, it, it is uh, actually in this way the industries where these fluids are used and you can apply this particular standard so that is the intent of this video i wanted to convey and if you look at the point number c actually it also um, um, gives a demarcation between uh, what is within the scope and what is uh, outside the scope actually uh, if you go and look at the 300 dot uh, the figure 300 dot 1.1 it will exactly tell you what it is that is what i'm going to show you see this is the figure uh, 300 dot 1.1 actually this exactly um, uh, clearly uh, shows the uh, boundary limit of our piping which is within the scope and outside the scope if you look at the legend below at the bottom of this uh, picture it, it exactly says that the thicker line shows the piping within the scope of uh, b31.3 and the thin line shows the piping outside the scope actually it is a self-explanatory um, the pictures and if you look at the pictures you will be able to find where exactly the thick lines are indicated and where exactly the thin lines are indicated so thin lines are out of the scope of b31.3 and thick lines are uh, the scopes within that covers within b31.3 so this is what uh, we i wanted to share with you so now you must be asking uh, a question that uh, so what is about the piping standards which are um, uh, outside the scope of b31.3 for this i have to say see uh, asme b31 is a committee that has a list of standards for different requirements different industrial purpose and different uh, uh, applications so one of few of the major uh, codes are uh, b31.1 that is power piping and b31.3 that is what we have seen the process piping and likewise we have 31.4 for pipeline transportation and 31.5 for refrigeration piping and 31.8 for uh, gas transmission and 31.9 for building services and 31.12 for hydrogen piping so each of these categories of uh, i mean the international codes of um, the pipings are used for specific reasons and specific services actually but 31.3 is specifically for uh, process piping as uh, as i said the, the 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 classifications are listed in 300.1.1 uh, in chapter 1 so that you can go and um, refer it if you have asme uh, standards with you so i believe that this video will be useful for you to understand the very basic thing about the process piping uh, thanks for watching my video uh, thanks for uh, supporting me uh, if you like this video please don't um, forget to give me uh, a like and also um, uh, do subscribe to my channel so that i'll be able to put more videos to motivate you and to educate you so this is what i am just sharing my um, uh, understanding uh, and the experience that i have uh, um, scored over a period of time i believe that this will help you to improve your knowledge uh, in different dimensions so i'll meet you in another video with another fantastic concept until then bye from subhash chandra